This video is brought to you by Osmocote, the planter's plant food. I'm Amy Griesack, a garden writer in Great Falls, Montana, and this morning I want to show you what I found in my tomato patch last night that has me completely freaked out. Plus, I'm going to give you a little tour of some of the other critters that have been invading the garden this year. Imagine my delight when I found this charming little fellow crawling along the base of the tomatoes as I, as I was harvesting. We typically do not have slugs of this size in Montana. And so I immediately scooped it up and put it in a jar and we'll send it to extension. As far as I can tell, it is called a black slug or brown slug. And Arian Ader is the proper, proper name for it. But I'm going to double check that with the extension. Which brings me to a very important point that extension is very handy to help you find out what exactly is in your garden in the first place. Another problem we have this year are earwigs. You can see down in here where the feces and there's old earwigs and then as you peel things back it just gets even more horrific and they're just in there and a lot of times they'll come spilling out. There are quite a number of bees and flies and wasps, wasps and hornets that have been in our raspberry patch this year. Even in this little shot I see two wasps and, well, three and a honeybee and another little fly of some sort. So we're really getting a lot of insects in here. Oh, and there's even an ant that are getting the job done. And obviously they're doing a great job because we have a lot of raspberries this year. Despite the heat, been able to keep enough water on and plenty of fruit is setting with the help of all these guys. Of course, the trick is harvesting, but it's still really nice when you have a lot of pick. A lot to pick and a lot to share. This is something I really love to watch. I love to watch the honeybees and also the native bumblebees work in the sunflowers, gathering the pollen. They do just a fantastic job going throughout the flower very carefully. And after a while, after they've been working, you can see where they'll get sacks of pollen. This one's still pretty clean, but big sacks of pollen on their legs. And they'll take that back to the hive and that's a really important protein source for them throughout the winter and then into early spring. But in the meantime, they're doing a great job working over the sunflowers so the birds will have a lot to eat this fall. I wanted to give you this little tour today to show you really how much is going on in the garden if you only take time to stop and look. Sometimes it's hard to miss like that slug or like those earwigs. Other times you really have to step back and watch the flowers for a bit. But I just encourage you to go out there, take a few moments, ignore the weeds, and just see what's going on in your garden.